West is a little town that's in between Dallas and Waco. And on April 17th, two years past, I was an ROTC cadet at the time, and so I commuted back and forth twice a week to Waco. We always stopped at the check stop, which if you're from around Texas is pretty famous. And so we had just stopped and I hadn't even closed my car door and we hear what I thought was a bomb going off and we saw the mushroom cloud. We started running towards where the explosion was and um, we were in uniform, which was actually really great because we were very protected, had our boots on, all that sort of thing. Also, it kind of made us authoritative because people will listen to people in uniform and we were the most qualified there, even as nursing students. When the explosion happened, those three students turned around and walked towards the explosion. Not away, not to their car, not to hot. They walked towards that disaster, and we I can't teach that. There's no way to teach that kind of service, that servant heart. I mean, that's something that they had within them. It was kind of a combat zone. That sounds bizarre, but a lot of my training and background had prepared me for that because it's like, oh, this is what we do. I was so immensely proud of the way they handled that day and the days following that um, it's made me really proud not only to be a veteran, but also as faculty at Baylor. It's just really impressive, the kind of graduates that we are privileged to serve. When you go to nursing school, you learn so much more than what you thought you knew. Baylor, we learn, lead, serve, and I feel just being a part of the military, that's also our motto. We have honor, courage, and commitment. So I feel like the military and the Baylor mission, we kind of tie together. And I feel like I'm serving my country and I'm serving my God at the same time. As a cadet, service to me reminds me that it's not about me and that there is a bigger picture. There is always something to be done to make the world a better place. And especially that ties into nursing as well, because as nurses, you serve patients and um, I think it's really great that I get to see the two sides of service as a cadet and a nursing student. So after the West explosion, there, there was a new normal of life. Baylor was amazing. The staff worked with me. I should have graduated the next semester, but I didn't think I could handle all the classes at once, and so they broke them up for me. They just did everything they could. And I've never felt so loved and so much of a part of a family. And. Um, I think seeing that in action and seeing Baylor serve me inspired me to help serve others. It just means such a great deal to my family, to my country. Um, every time people ask me how I came to Baylor and how I made it through, um, the first thing I say is from scholarships, from people giving. When it came to the end of the, the semesters, I think the faculty could see in my, in my eyes that I was a little nervous and I would literally leave their offices crying tears of joy knowing that I would be able to continue my nursing career. I've just met some wonderful people, inspiring and encouraging people who remind me every day that I'm doing something that matters and that um, will make a difference. I'm looking at active duty here in a couple months. You know, who knows if I would be able to attend college if it weren't for the scholarships. Baylor nurses are changing the world and one patient really at a time. I do know that once they leave, they're touching so many lives in such a great way. It's really satisfying. Well, I feel like no matter where I've been stationed, when they ask me, where'd you go to school? And I say, Baylor. They say, wow, you went to Baylor? And I say, yeah, I did. <laughs>